you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I wanted to do a collaboration video with a few other YouTubers discussing a topic that's, you know, kind of trending after the holiday season, and it is the idea of re-gifting. So I reached out to a few other YouTubers and I asked them their opinions on it, if they've done it, if they think it's right. And I did a little bit of research. I found out that over 60% of Americans have admitted to re-gifting a gift after the holidays or a birthday or some sort of a celebration. They have admitted to re-gifting it to someone else in their future. Or, sure. Once again, this is a collaboration, so all other channels participating will be listed in the description box below. Make sure to check them out. But without any further ado, ideas on re-gifting. The first question, and I'm reading them off my phone. I had the list of questions on my phone. The first one is, do you think it's right to re-gift? And I think there is nothing wrong with re-gifting as long as it's not something that's sentimental. Like if your child gives you something and it meant a whole lot to them to like buy it or make it. I think any homemade gifts should never be re-gifted. But if it's something, you know, a little more generic that maybe you have an access of, an a yeah, an asset, an access? Access? Uh, that's the word I'm gonna go with. If you have too many of one item and you're getting it as gifts multiple times, I don't see an issue in re-gifting it, so long as it's not something that is sentimental towards the person who gifted it to you. Next question, have you ever re-gifted something? Um, I'm sure I have, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I am sure I have re-gifted probably like body soaps, lotions, and candles, because I get those all the time. Now, if they come from my students, I am more likely I will keep them because it came from, you know, my younger kids that want to give gifts and they'll see them here in my music studio. But if I get 20 bottles of, you know, Love Spell, Bath and Body Works sprays or something like that, I have no problem keeping them in a stockpile to re-gift throughout the year. And lastly, how would you feel knowing that someone has re-gifted something you gave? Um, I actually wouldn't be terribly offended if I found out they re-gifted something I gave. Again, so long as it wasn't something that was super sentimental. If I went out and I got them something generic and I found out they had too much of it, I would feel better knowing I wasn't stressing out, you know, their home environment and they were able to gift it to someone else. Maybe that person could use it and it actually helped that person in their personal situation. So I have no problems when it comes to somebody re-gifting something that I gave, so long as it's not sentimental. But that is all the questions for this collaboration. If you yourself have any thoughts on re-gifting, if you think it's right, wrong, personal practice, or stories, please leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this collaboration. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kristen. And if you'd like to follow along on my adventures, go ahead and click the red subscription button down below. It'll update you anytime I upload a new video. That's all for this collab. Thank you so much, everybody who participated, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. An yeah, an asset, an access. Assess? Uh, that's the word I'm gonna.